James here. And inside this box is a very cool projector that you can use on your wall pretty much anywhere you want. Uh, this is from DB Power Guys, and inside that box you're going to be greeted with a very cool little carrying case. Now this carrying case does have some padding, does have their logo, and it does have a double zipper and this very cool handle to boot. Now it is, of course, gray in coloration. Now inside here you're going to be greeted with some cool stuff. First and foremost, a 1080 projector. That's right, 1080p resolution projector. Uh, this projector does do 1200 lumens brightness. It uh, does have Wi-Fi, so you do have the 5G support of connectability. Now, you also have Bluetooth 5.1, so you can pair up your phones or uh, Bluetooth soundbars with that. Now, inside here, you'll be greeted with, of course, the remote control. The remote control is just a standard remote that will let you swap through pretty much all of the settings that you need with that. Now, you will need two AAA batteries to activate this remote control. Now, you'll also be greeted with, of course, the... Uh, the standard old uh, RCA uh, connection guys, if you have that type of connection, they have that for you. You will then be greeted, of course, with the power cable. So you do get your standard power cable to power this device up. But on top of that, guys, you're going to be greeted with an HDMI cable. So they do think about that, and they do give you the HDMI cable uh, to boot. So you do have a nice HDMI cable. HDMI cable is going to be about four and a half, five feet, guys, for you. Now, inside the case is what it looks like right here. And, of course, the actual projector is strapped in. And I like that they did that to protect it. Now, it's actually a really cool coloration. It does have the user manual. Of course, I just dropped it on the ground. But there is a user manual if you need it. Now, the projector, very cool coloration right there. Now, this is going to be your, you know, keystone correction and, auto and focus with that, guys, over here. Now, on this device, there are some actual cool pieces uh, that we're going to kind of try and show you guys this. Uh, first and foremost, there is a tray that slides out. This tray is so you can put the remote control in it when you're not... You know, actually, it's not for the remote control. I'm not sure what the tray is for, but you definitely could, guys. You could, you could set your... Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a phone holder. Check that out. Phone holder, guys. Hey, you can hold your phone there and play your phone because you can mirror onto this. So it does have that. Now on the opposite side over here, guys, is a filter. This filter can be cleaned out to keep your lens protected. Now on the top, guys, also you have your power buttons, your menu buttons, and everything else the remote control does. On the back, you have a couple of inputs. First and foremost, you have your 3.5 headphone plug. You also have your 3.5 audio video plug, which is those cables I just showed you. You also have a TF card reader, so you can put a, uh, an SD card in here and read off of that as well. You do have two USB-A standard plugs right there uh, to do USB uh, connections. Or you have two HDMI ports. That's right, two. So you can actually connect up multiple devices to this. Your Nintendo Switch, your Xboxes, your Fire Sticks, or anything in between with that. You also have a VGA connection. Not a lot of people are going to use a VGA connection, but they do have that if you need with that. And of course, you guys just pop that over and you'll be greeted with the nice lens right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into my bedroom. I'm going to power this up and I'm going to show you guys it on in on a projection screen to give you guys that first look. So if you guys give me a second, let me swap, swap views. Okay, now that we have the projector on, the DB Power projector, you guys can see we just have a simplified, uh, simplified screen. It shows movie, photos, music, and text. Also shows the Bluetooth, Bluetooth up top. You guys can see it's actually quite bright and blue in coloration. Now, if I hit over, we can go into what uh, settings there are. Picture mode, of course, we can go into picture mode. If we want to mess with picture mode, we can actually adjust that, make it brighter, user vivid. Now, I kind of like always like vivid, but we're going to leave it on medium right there. And of course, with that, we also have color temperatures, noise reduction in the middle, and reduce size by 100%. If I want to, we can just reduce the size by pretty much whatever we really want with that. Now you can also come over here to actual sound mode where we can uh, go into the sound settings and adjust it to sports, user mode, or medium. And then we're going to just leave it on movie mode because that's probably what we'll be using it the most for. You can adjust balance, auto volume on and off, surround sound on and off, Bluetooth on and off, of course, sleep timer, uh, on screen to, uh, display, language is English, of course, factory reset, default. Uh, rotate, you know, we can rotate the screen if we really want and all of that in between. 
Very simple, very easy. Now, with this, I remember guys, I said there are a whole bunch of, of input sources. So we have the PC RGB, which is your uh, that four plug uh, standard one right there, of course. Uh, we also have uh, HDMI's one and two. We also have screen mirroring. So if I hit screen mirroring, it's going to start picking up where we can actually go into screen mirroring. Of course, we're going to have to go into settings for that and pick up a network. Uh, with that. So if we grab that, we're going to grab a Wi-Fi setting and go into that. Grab your Wi-Fi setting, set it up, and then you can start screen mirroring, of course, uh, with that. Which is actually kind of cool to be able to do that. You have iOS and Android, of course. Now, AV, USB 1, USB 2, and the TF card. Of course, we're going to grab this right here. And I believe this should be the one I put my, uh, my Nintendo Switch on. There we guys go. You guys can see right there. We'll do a little sound test, of course, real quick. Uh, if I want, let's do this. Let's have a bomb flower set. Just like that. So we do have that. Uh, we can mute it if we want. Very nice coloration, good pattern. Of course, I just, you know, exploded that inside here. But, hey, hey, it happens. With that, actually very nicely done. Great little projector. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a great one.